What's up everybody, Estas here, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about two more stocks that I'm looking to swing trade here, heading into the month of October in 2019. And this is kind of a follow-up video to a video I made last week where I talked about three stocks that I'm looking to swing trade heading into the month of October. That video got some good feedback, so I figured why not throw in another two to make it five total stocks that I'm watching and looking to trade swing trade heading into the month of October. So if you find value in this video, if you enjoy how I break down these stocks, tips, tricks about swing trading, feel free to go down below, hit that like button, consider subscribing if you want to see further content from me and make sure to join our Strive Smart Discord group chat as well as our Strive Smart Facebook group. All of those are linked down below. So let's take a look at the S&P very quickly right now. And you may be asking yourself, Stas, the s and selling off. Why are you looking to swing trade right now? Well, believe it or not, when the markets are selling off, a lot of stocks are selling off as well. And what is that doing? That's opening up margin of profit on a lot of these stocks. So I'm not against the stock market falling. I like it when the stock market falls because it opens up a lot of opportunities to swing swing trade stocks and maybe even buy stocks for the long, long term. And in long, long term, I mean three, five, 10 years out, 10 plus years out. But in this video, again, we're mainly focusing on swing trading. So looking at the S&P guys, you know, right now it's down about 0.7%. It's down about $21. And it seems like it's looking to test that 50 SMA here on the four hour chart. And we may be going down to that level that I've been talking about about on the S&P, which is at around 29.50. So that is a retracement. If we just pull out my trend tool very quickly, my trend line drawing tool, that's a retracement of about 2.5% from the all-time high. So with that 2.5% drop since the rejection at that resistance we got a couple weeks ago, you know, that opened up a lot of opportunity in a bunch of stocks, and it's currently opening up a lot of opportunity as the market continues to drop. And let's say the markets continue to drop over the next couple of days, next couple of weeks. Again, this is going to open up a lot of further profit margin in a lot of stocks out there in the stock market, which is why, honestly, guys, I advise you to just keep a watch list of at least 10, 15, 20 stocks that you're always watching, you're always breaking down, you're always doing technical. So this way, when the markets are dipping, you can run through those stocks that you're very familiar with. You can see, okay, this could be an entry point, this could be an exit point, and you can plan out your trades that way, right? So let's just hop into the first one that I am watching here which is drum roll please da, 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 da. the first one is guys j and j good old johnson and johnson so this one is at a level right now where it's not 100 percent confirmed to pull up here to continue to run up here it's at that point where it's close to a breakout and let me explain what i mean by this if we zoom out a bit let's say to the one year one day chart you can see that there's a clear resistance on Johnson & Johnson at around $131.50. Maybe you can say $131 flat, that rough area right around there. So you guys can see now today, if we go to the intraday chart, we actually broke out of that 131.50 level of resistance. We failed, or actually, we didn't fail yet. We're looking to hold it as a new support right now due to the pullback we're experiencing, most likely because the overall markets are getting crushed, which obviously is dragging down Johnson & Johnson. So on the 184-hour chart, if we go back, this could be a point in time where if we break 131.50, which we did, again as you saw in the intraday chart and we pull down and hold it as a new support which we're in the process of doing right now this could be an entry point if we hold it as a new support and then start to climb back up maybe test 132 maybe 132.50 and ideally into the 133s because 133 if you notice a couple weeks ago back in the middle of August this was actually a resistance point so in my opinion 133 if we did break that that 
that would be the first signal to potentially um, start buying into Johnson & Johnson. That's what I'm thinking as of right now as an entry point for a swing trade. And it's very obvious. You guys can see resistances all over here if I just pull out my little tool here. You can see a strong resistance is going to be at around 139. You see another one at around 142. You see another one at around $144.98. I guess you can call that $145. So these are a bunch of levels that we could potentially, if all the technicals go in our favor, if things play out the way we want to, these are levels we could potentially sell out of the position. So let's say 133 we enter, we swing it all the way up to 140 that's going to be roughly a four to five percent margin of profit you know upwards of 142 dollars that might be around seven percent and if we get to that high at 145 that could be upwards of eight percent profit so guys one thing to keep an eye on, and again, I can't hammer this into your heads enough, take these with a grain of salt. Don't just buy these because I'm looking to buy them. Do your own research, do your own due diligence, make sure to understand what you're trading and understand that the overall market could affect these individual stocks heavily and this could this whole plan could go out the window if the overall markets continue to drag down and that would obviously drag down stocks individually so look the markets as we speak guys they're falling down and down and down if we break 29.50 and we start to drop you know all of these swings that i'm looking at right now they might not be good entry points right now but once the markets find a bottom whether that's in a week whether that's in a couple of days they could be setting up for an entry point at that moment in time which goes back to why it's important like i said a couple of minutes ago to have a watch list of 10 15 20 stocks so even when the markets are selling off you can always go back check it understand where the stock's at is it at support what are the moving averages doing is it at resistance is it at a good entry point is it a better time to wait you know this is very important when in terms of just tracking and keeping an eye on a bunch of different stocks so Again, you know, it's important just watch the markets, watch how everything is doing because the markets, the economy, everything that's going on right now in the whole global economy, trade war, interest rates, that has a huge effect on everything. So the second one that I'm looking to swing trade here, not as juicy as J&J, &J, but it's still been doing very well over the past couple of months, is Chipotle Mexican Grill, ticker symbol CMG. This stock in the year of 2019 alone, you guys can see here back in January, literally about eight months ago, this stock was $453 per share. Fast forward eight, nine months, look where it's at now, guys. $857 is where it peaked. We pulled down. We held that 180 SMA support on the four-hour chart, which has been a support over the past couple of months, which is a very good sign. We popped. We got rejected near that high at about 857, 860-ish. That could be a temporary double top, which might be bearish in the short term but now that we're pulling down it's looking like we're retesting that 830 level it seems like we're breaking that we might be going down at the 50 SMA at this point on this four hour chart which could potentially retest but ultimately I need for Chipotle Mexican Grill to hold this 180 SMA support on this four hour chart if we hold this level here guys you know we start to maybe pop up this could be a good entry point 815, 810, you know, 820. And if the markets do end up dragging down Chipotle, which if you think about it, guys, Chipotle doesn't get too affected by the market's performance. I mean, it does. Of course, a lot of stocks do um, in certain scenarios, but Chipotle overall, it's been doing quite well. And during the time periods where the market sold off, you can see it went from 720 to about 650 in May, but ultimately it's recovered after every single correction that it saw, that it's seen at this point. So if we just pull down and hold, this could be another point where it recovers from the dip again, which it's done every single time, at least on this four hour chart in the past, right? So keep an eye on that. We may be getting the pull down. This could open up a nice entry point again, low 800s, um, you know, from 805, let's say, for example, we get in for a swing, we go up to 860, that could be around a five, six percent move. And of course, if we continue to hit those higher highs, you know, continue to smash, I believe those 
those would be all-time highs if we go to the one year one day we'll see yes that would be an all-time high you know you could potentially get upwards of like eight nine ten percent and even more in Chipotle if you do get in on that dip so those are just two more stocks that I'm looking to swing trade heading into the month of October if everything sets up well if the market's you know, sell off and find a bottom and continue the upwards push, which would again most likely influence these two stocks and the three other stocks that I talked about in last week's video. You know, that could be a good, um, you know, potential swing trades for October. So now that I'm now that you made it here, guys, if you made it here, feel free to go to that other video I made last week. Go check out the three other stocks I'm looking to swing trade. I'll link that video down below. And that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, feel free to go down below below hit that like button consider subscribing if you want to see further content from me and drop a comment let me know what are your thoughts on the markets right now what are your thoughts on these stocks i'd love to know so i'll catch you all in the next video thanks again for watching peace out